Alright guys, welcome back. This time, we are going to be taking Cessna 172 Skyhawk and landing at a very tiny airfield. Any smaller, it'd be grass. In fact, quite honestly, when I first started the challenge, I really did think I was landing in grass. So, luckily we ain't doing that today. Get a little practice on a little shorter run strip. But, all in all, all the same. Simple challenge just like the last one. Easier plane to fly. Easier challenge overall, actually. But, very low runway. So, you better make sure that you do not overshoot it. Even a little Cessna. You don't want to do that because next thing you know you're going to be in those trees. I do not recommend. Now if anyone's wondering why I continually fly with the camera outside the aircraft versus in the cockpit, I do like flying on the inside, but when it comes to landing and challenges of that nature, I find it easier to do from the outside. Like I said before, novice, just trying to get some just trying to get some experience, spread my wings and learn. So Maybe by the end of the year I'll be comfortable enough to actually land in the cockpit camera view.
still not quite my best, but it's definitely pretty good overall. I mean, could have been smoother, could have been a little less floppy in the air, but you know what? That do it like that, you still get a decent score. I am going to give it one more go, and I'll probably call it that on this one. Oh, and like I said in the last video, that challenge right there, that's a pain. But if you can do that without crashing it, without going off the runway, just biggest challenge isn't even the plane, it's the wind. You'll know why when you get closer to a runway. You won't feel it in the air, you'll feel it on the ground. Now, keep an eye on the vertical speed, the VS bar in the bottom right. If you haven't done these challenges already, I'll explain why here in a moment. Almost beat my best and quite honestly I'm wondering why considering I really botched that landing smoothness. I think if I would just been a little bit better and not push forward on the stick a little bit probably got a new score but it's alright. It's alright. Now going to the vertical speed the VS bar in the bottom right if you haven't seen in the bottom of the screen during the loading, it gives you tips on how to perfect your score, make it better. That goes into the, 
I think it's the landing smoothness. You want that to be as close to zero as possible when you touch down. Not when you come to a stop, not while you're in the air still heading towards the runway. Whenever you touch down for the first time, you want that to be as close to zero as possible. And you only want to touch down once. You don't want to bounce off the runway and have to... I mean, it apparently that botches your score a little bit. I don't know how badly, but one bounce can apparently lower your score. So I would definitely try and focus on being as smooth as possible. With that said, I'm going to close this one out and I will see you on board the 747 here shortly.